Hi, my name is Liz Kean, and I'll be your host for the Indoor Garden, a series that'll show you how to keep your house plants healthy and happy, and also how your house plants keep you healthy and happy. For over 16 years, I've worked in the horticultural field, and I've noticed a prevalent feeling among many people that they feel they just simply cannot grow plants as though you must be born with a green thumb in order to have any success at all. Well, I'm here to show you that you can cultivate a green thumb. You don't have to be born with one. And I'm going to start out today with two of our more common and durable house plants, the pothos and the philodendron. So join me now as we start in the plant workshop. A philodendron is the name given to over 200 species of plants, many of which you can grow in your home. And they, the ones that you can make wonderful, hardy house plants. And I wanted to start out by showing you today the philodendron chordatum. It is one of our more common plants. It's also one of our easiest to grow plants. I'm sure you've seen it before. And this is what it looks like. It has deep green leathery leaves, and they're kind of heart-shaped. And it grows on long vines. It'll grow almost forever if you let it. If you have it in good light, it, the leaves can grow to a diameter of three to four inches. And if you have it in very low light, I have a little sample here of, of a philodendron grown in very low light, and you'll see it gets very tiny leaves. But that's okay. And I also wanted to show you a relative of the philodendrons, and that is the pothos. While they're actually in different families, they're very similar and their care is very similar. And this one I have for you today is the pothos, botanically known as Scindapsis aureus. And it too has almost heart-shaped leaves. Actually, they're a little bit more oval, but it has a very pretty yellow yellowy white variegation through the leaves and it too grows as a long vine now occasionally you will find these plants for sale both the pothos and the philodendron growing up a piece of bark as the pothos and philodendron both love to climb up trees and that's the way they often grow in their natural habitat so if you don't want a hanging plant but you'd like a pothos or a philodendron you can look for a plant that's been trained to grow up a piece of bark and uh, use that as a floor plant or somewhere else and I have one more pothos to show you it's also very attractive it's the pothos marble queen and it has a white variegation in its leaves I have it right over here and as you can see it too is nice and full and lush and it's not really very hard to keep it looking that way and it does have that white variegation you know running through its leaves all three of them are an excellent plant especially for beginners and I also wanted to show you one other thing if you do grow a pothos and you keep it for a long time, they can grow and grow. They can get to be quite large plants. And I have a cutting from one such pothos that grows up a giant palm tree in this area. And I'll show it to you just so you know how big they really can get. And here it is. You can see they have whopper leaves on them. So you take good care of your plants and it may end up looking like this. 